Bonjour, Bonjour YouTube. YouTube. Today we are in Le Marais. This place is one of the oldest district in Paris. So let's discover together. On y va. On y va. So Le Marais, a little history of Le Marais. Uh, it's one of the oldest districts of Paris. It was very popular amongst the royalty and the rich and uh, the noble. Uh, one of the first plas or squares, public squares, uh, was built actually here in this area. It's called Place de Vosges, we're going to show it to you. This area miraculously was untouched during the Haussmann reworks or let's say uh, Revolution. <laughs> exactly. Um, archi architectural revolution of Haussmann. Yeah. And the buildings here are older. Uh, it's still one of the most expensive areas to live in. The buildings here are extremely old but extremely beautiful. They are very old. Quite small as well. Currently the area is... Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Look at these trees. They're fake trees, by the way. No. They're not real. No, they're fake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fake. Yeah, so this area was spared because of the nobility and the rich people who live here. There are a few uh, hotels particulier. Hotel particulier in sense, like it's not a hotel, but more of a, a building where it's, it's with, with lavish apartments for guests of their owners. That's the idea of the hotel particulier. If you look at the wall here, there is a writing. This was done during the La Commune, the uprising in Paris, that happened in 1871. At the time, uh, the working class rose up against the government and tried to, recreate, to, tried to create their own republic. So on, on one of the days, um, there was major fighting happening uh, on the streets and uh, people were cornered in the church. So as they were being slaughtered pretty much by the police and the government, at the doors of the church somebody wrote that on the wall the thing is the church tried to remove it they tried to scrub it off but the more they tried the more it showed up uh, the clearer it was seen on the wall yeah it's a sad story so Anton do you know why this place is called Le Marais? not really what is it it's because Le Marais means swamp back then this area used to be a swamp so that's why people call this area Le Marais and in addition to that, we just found a fountain that I've been looking for. It's at right behind us. Let's have a look. I don't know if it's on. It's not on. So it was basically done for the fishers. Poissonnery. Fish, people who sell fish, basically. Um, because they were stinking up the area, so they gave them the fountain. And this is how it looks like. So now we are, we've arrived to Place de Vosges, which is one of the first royal squares of Paris. It was decided under Henry IV to build this. It's a square, it's actually literally a square, with beautiful, beautiful hôtel particulier around it. They're all the same sort of uh, architecture. They look similar. It was inaugurated by the Louis XIII. If you look around, you will see the buildings are almost identical. They're almost identical and it's just, it's one of the most beautiful places to be in, in Paris in summer. People hang out here, people just sit on the grass, relax, they have their picnics. By the way, Victor Hugo lived one of the buildings behind me for 16 years. He lived at number six. As you can see, that's the building.
Hotel de Sully is one of the most beautiful private mansions in Paris. What I really love about this place is that you are in the center of Paris. You're literally in the right middle center, heart of Paris. And it's snowing a little bit. There are a little bit of snowflakes falling. And it's so quiet here. It's so quiet and it's so beautiful. It's just stunning. So now we are basically trying to find this synagogue. The reason why I want to find this specific synagogue is because it was designed by the same... Oh my God, look at this door. So as promised, this is the synagogue. It was constructed by Hector Guima. It was done in 1913. During the Nazi occupation in Paris, there was a, one of the first attacks against the Jewish population in the country. During the mass that they were doing, uh, there was an explosion and the doors had to be redone. The entrance had to be redone. It's a beautiful building and it's the same architect who did the entrances to the metro stations in Art Nouveau style. So now we're walking in the Jewish quarter. Oh my goodness, they have the falafel store open. Can we please get falafels? Okay, let's Please, go. we're gonna go and get the falafel now. I think it's open. Yes, it's open. I'm going to get falafels. I am so excited. Genuinely, I'm gonna ruin my diet today. I don't care. <laughs> so we are in the Jewish quarter and um, we're gonna go and get some falafels. Look, I'm so, uh, walking so much quicker than Sinan. <laughs> Sinan is behind. So, this is, and I know how it tastes, let's see. Oh. I'm very happy. <laughs> how is it? Tasty. <laughs> So we just had falafel. Was it nice? Yeah, it was very nice. It was very nice. Delicious. Yes. So now we are walking towards National Archives. Yeah. Obviously it will be closed, but we just want to see it from outside and how it looks. And then uh, we still have a few places to show. So, and I also, yeah. I also watched a video where they kept the first human rights Declaration? in this museum. Huh. Yeah, it's France, of course. Which is sweetheart. <laughs> oh, <look. Yeah. laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's a Frenchie with a, with a, with a, with a coat on. He had a coat on. <laughs> yeah. So they have the declaration, right? Yeah. The first declaration of human rights. Yeah. This place was created in 1867. So the purpose of this place is to provide public with the French history by giving them the documents. And back then it was presented 1,800 documents to the public.
So the other particular thing about this area is that it's uh, technically a gay district as well. Uh, there are lots of LGBT bars, clubs, uh, restaurants and stuff like that. So you will see, normally you will see things like, you know, rainbow flags everywhere and in the summer especially during the, the Pride Month, flags are all over the place. <laughs> it is not fun like everyone else. Exactly. So the whole day it's been snowing a little bit, small flakes, and it's so pretty. We're now walking towards uh, Hotel de Ville, which is the, where the mairie is, where the government sits, the city government. Um, the story about this, this building is very interesting. It burned down completely in the 19th century after the uprisings of uh, La Commune. So the building had to be completely rebuilt. And now, with the current mayor, Anne Hidalgo, uh, there is a project which includes redeveloping the parvis, so the open space, in front of the building itself. They want to do uh, city forests, like a mini, mini forest situation. It's a bit of a controversial subject because the, the conservationists are against it. Sorry for this noise, there are too many cars suddenly, because they think that the whole idea of having a beautiful building at the end of the street will be ruined by the trees. The trees will just basically block it. And uh, also for them to do something like this, they would have to remove the upper layer of the uh, underground parking. So they would lose one more floor of underground parking. It seems like the project is going to go ahead. We'll see, we'll see. But of course, it's a matter of taste, I suppose. I like trees, so for me, it's a great thing. I like it. I just hope that it turns out to be amazing. Usually things in Paris turn out to be super amazing. So uh, I'm not worried about that. We've reached Hotel de Ville. We've reached it. Have a look. That's it for today. We hope you liked the video. If you like it, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. And subscribe. Exactly. The most important. Yeah. <laughs> to see more of these videos. Yeah. And um, now that is amazing. That concludes the video. Thank you so much. Until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.